Rave. Hi. Come play with me. Come play with me. They leveled up today. We expanded the Tespo panel playpen for them to give them some more room to run. Look at him go. I'm sitting here, I just fed them, and <laughs> Tesla is such a little explorer, he just wants to crawl everywhere. So, I put my legs out on the recliner and unlocked a new level for him. No, you can't go that way. And he thinks it's so fun because he can run down my legs. And he thinks it's really funny because he likes to bite my feet <laughs> and play with me. He's not being mean, he's just playing, but... He just be an Henri. Yeah. Yeah, we are here too. And Chevy's up on the boob shelf. Tesla's being Henri. All is right in the world. Careful there, little dude. He likes to get right to the edge, and then he's like, Psych, just, just worry and foster mom, that's all. It's a cat butt. Yeah. You want to go walk around with your brother? Here. And their stool is a little bit loose. That's why the my towel looks so gross. It's the they're, I'm putting pumpkin in their food to help firm up their poopies. No, are you going to come back? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Hi, T.R. Hi. Oh, I'm just going to get a belly rub. I'm going to get a belly rub. We are at our rescue. Chevy's not doing very well. They were still having a little bit of loose poopy. So we're here to get him looked at. And do a little more than we can do at home. Mary's running some tests. We're checking for Carcidia and Nerdia. And um, there's a litter that is around has been around them apparently that or it's been in here in the rescue that has him look so we did a pan loop test and that looks like it's coming up negative so far so that's good and then we're probably going to do some fluids and get some medicine that test is we're waiting out here and there are a few cages with some cats and um and this little guy is serious black and he's so sweet He's telling me all the secrets about the joint. He's the little lover. So on. Are you just getting closer or are you need to take care of some business? I don't want to disturb your business.
This is the Coctidia one, right? I don't know. I think it's the Pan Luke one. I'm not sure. No, I'm pretty sure she said that the... I think it's the Pan Luke one. Oh. Is this the Pan Luke one? Is that positive? Okay. So, Chevy's test for Pan Luke tested positive. Um, and if you don't know, Pan Luke's a pretty serious illness. So, there are medications that we're going to do, and we're going to do everything we can to take care of him and see if we can pull him through this. Okay, so we're back home with little Tesla, and um, we had to leave... Uh, we had to leave Chevy at the rescue because they're just much better equipped to take care of a Pan Luke baby that's not doing well. Um, so like I said earlier, Pan Luke is a really, really bad thing to get when you have kittens and um, it's so hard to get rid of. Um, so no matter how clean you keep it, you constantly have new animals coming in and it's just really hard not to track it in, especially when we have hundreds. We have hundreds of animals that are being euthanized every year, especially right now during kitten season. There's only so much we can do. So I don't want you guys to think that rescues and shelters aren't taking good care of our animals because they are. This is just a really, really bad virus, and it's really hard to get rid of. Um, I'll leave some information below about, about it. Um, it's called Panluke, Panlukopenia, and if you know more about like dogs, it's real common in puppies. It's called Parvo, and it's pretty much the same thing. Um, and I can leave some information down below if you're kind of wondering what it is. And you can look at um, like how long it lives on surfaces and how hard it is to get rid of. Like, there's we had to go ahead and um, trash our carrier. We have a soft carrier for that we can try to report the kittens in because it's smaller. And we had to go ahead and trash that tonight because it's fabric um, and Parvo can Panloop can live in fabric for a really long time it can be really hard to get out. We might have to trash all of the blankets that they've used. Um, I had to throw away a bunch of toys that they were using tonight. Um, it's real, really, really serious and it's really hard to get rid of. So please don't think badly of our shelters and rescues. They are doing so much good work um, and it's just a really, really shitty situation. And there's not a lot we can do about it. There was another kitten that was brought in tonight um, that had Pan Luke also, and they had to put him down because he was too sick and he was suffering. <laughs> and I have to be really honest, I don't think Chevy's going to make it because he was really sick. He was okay yesterday, and I actually weighed him. Uh, yesterday night around 8 o'clock and then tonight around exactly the same time I weighed him again and he had lost an entire ounce in one day. These kittens are only 7 to 12 ounces right now, around about that. Um, Tesla is, I think he's 11 ounces, 11 and a half ounces and Chevy was 8 and a half ounces yesterday. Well he was 7 and a half ounces today. He lost a whole ounce in one day. It was so quick. Um, he was doing good. He was gaining weight. He was, he wasn't eating a lot, but we knew he had some loose stool and we thought he had just had a stomach ache. So we just kept making sure he ate as much as we could get into him, but he was still playing, still running around and everything. And then today he just gradually went, went downhill real quick. And I started doing, um, the Parker protocol and doing the, um, electrolyte and k mixture for him to keep his uh, to, to try to rehydrate him and um, keep his blood sugar up, made sure he stayed on the heating pad all day, that kind of thing. And um, 
we were going to go ahead and give him some sub Q fluids, but I didn't have any sterile syringes in the house. So um, I wasn't able to do that. And then I, when I got a hold of Mary, um, she had us bring, bring Chevy out to the rescue so that we could take care of him there. We had to leave him there tonight because they're better equipped to take care of him. They're going to give us some updates tomorrow and let us know how he's doing. Um, but so it's the middle of the night now. John and I have been cleaning for a few hours and we've got a few more hours to clean. And um, I wanted to end this video. I know that this is really boring. I know this is a sad video. Um, I include the sad stuff in my videos because if I'm going to encourage people to foster, I want you to know that it's not all kitten cuddles. Sometimes it gets serious. And I have to, if I'm going to encourage you to foster, I feel like I need to be straight with you about that. The other thing that I try to communicate with these videos is the importance of spaying and neutering your pets. Mm -hmm.